Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Paul and his Necromantic and Danton and his Prowls. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello! Hello everybody, here we're ready to watch a local shop Prowls team versus a well-developed Necro team. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, uh, the elves are down two babes and a wizard. Uh, they've got a guard and no stats and no other doubles. So I don't know how they're down in such little amount of TV against two mighty blow tackle blotch step wolves. <laughs> mighty blow yeah. tackle three guards. Oh, there's no fe there's no there's no there's no flesh golems. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There's no flesh golems. Wow. Is this the, the special edition of the CCL Cup, you know, where uh, <laughs> people with uh, different levels of uh, disabilities try to get us put? <laughs> oh, classic uh, Frenzy Blitz on the Necro. Yeah, insane. Well, the funny thing is, I actually got number one ranked Necromantic coach on Fumble by making a zero Flesh Golem team. So, like, I do think it's very TV efficient. Um, the problem is, of course, um, it's not that good for Chalice, is it? Because you would rather have, you would rather have those players. I mean, they're, they're very expensive, though, aren't they? As as as, as rookies, particularly, they're very yeah, expensive. As a, a rookies, they are absolutely player. horrible. As rookies, they are shit players. But as soon as they get the to sixteen uh, SPP and they get block and guard, they now yeah, from there it's like okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're incredible once they're blocking guard, so I would definitely want two block and guard flesh golems on this team. A hundred percent. Absolutely a hundred percent worth the two hundred and twenty more TV it would be. Um But No big glad the gaming. They, they don't start with Mighty Blow and usually they get it as the third skill with luck. Yeah, you can't rely on getting it right, whereas block and guard is what they need to function, you know, so you've got a they're harder to knock down. Harder to knock down. They've got reliable blocks, and they've got the guard and the stand firm. But they, they don't need the mighty blow. Obviously, they'd like mighty blow, and they'd like dodge as well. Um, so you cools as well, right? When you've got four really good players all with blodge, um, it makes sense to then start stacking the blodge, especially when you can get a blodge stand firm. Um, it's time four, but you don't need any of these. You only need block and guard. But yeah, for a rookie, they're they're pretty shit, right? 110k for a Blackhawk, really, as a, as a rookie. So they're pretty yeah. terrible as rookies. And Blackhawks are already shit because they're not they're not um, <laughs> they're not Saurus. So <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's why I didn't have them. But again, that was just to get top ranked Necro coach on football, right? It was, I didn't play that many games. I'm in maxed them to death. That was the point of the of that. I think it's a terrible strategy for the cup and Oriolensis having a bit of a a bit of bantering. It's it's true in a way though that the challenge the qualifying is the true challenge for Chaos uh, Chaos Dwarves, I think, because Chaos Dwarves it's so hard to qualify. Um yeah, some teams are uh, more difficult than others. Yeah. And I still it's a challenge because it requires a massive amount of time, you know. Uh, yeah. It's not very common that people just uh, qualify with their first team. So it's you're investing a lot of hours. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There's, there's lots of more casual players, uh, like Sage, funnily enough, for example. Uh, I say casual, obviously, he's like, he's... he's. Yeah, I'm not saying that he's rubbish, but the point is he just doesn't put that many hours in, does he? And he, he's basically never had a hope of qualifying for CCL playoffs, but obviously do all right if he got there, wouldn't he? So. Yep. Oh, there are a lot of people that see really uh, another thing, and you just see class. I mean, as many people make jokes about the rebel level of play, they are very good coaches in rebel that they will never play uh, CCL because they don't have the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look, look at Kanor, right? Kanor, Kanor didn't lose and still hasn't lost in normal time in in a in a season of BBSL, yet just hasn't come close to qualifying for playoffs because he doesn't play enough. Oh, yeah, but anyway, he were, I think uh, not having the flesh goal in his life. I think it's insane for Chalice. I think it's insane for Chalice. I think it's it's all right if you just min max him, right? Is this just the new meta for, for teams, you know, like Singolo not playing with Blitzers, Necros without the uh, flesh golems? 
Yeah, I don't think it's on that level, like, because that I don't even think is TV efficient, the playing without... I think the playing without the uh, blitzers is just fucking insane, like, I just... <laughs> there's no way I can, at all, I can endorse the not playing without blitzers, but at least, at least there's an argument for rookie flesh golems being poor value. There's, there's some positives. I do not like leaving your, your, your wrestler here ready to get mighty blow tackle. That seems a bit wild, doesn't it? I guess he's only a lineman. But he could have put this uh, rookie there, right? And I think yeah. he could have swung the rookie over to that spot. Um, it's quite nice having wrestling there. I want his pro health hacks, yeah. Well, you had them against you had them against Ducky a bit uh, against Ducky. A bit of a difference between Ducky and Dimmy. You had them. <laughs> You had them against Dimmy a bit, didn't you, Alarge? Didn't get all your players killed by Dimmy, which is what you had to do to win. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the re the replay that we did of your game, Alarge Thud, against Misspelled Tree, but um, yeah. there was a huge, a huge player there. Involving the war dancer, there was it was very possible to surf the war dancer, um, and that was obviously that should have been spotted by both of you. Oh wow! Well. It's it's on YouTube, I think. No, it might not be. <laughs> soon, soon. It's on YouTube at least soon, if not already. Like I've I've uploaded it, I just haven't published it yet, probably. Because there's quite a few to publish, and uh, I like to, uh, you know, don't all look, you know publish them instantly. No, okay, it's not published yet. It was 4 a.m. when you played, oh, bro. Holy mm. shit, man! How did you manage to play at that hour at a time? Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's... where do you live? <laughs> you know, I forget that you know the time zones thing. Yeah. That is pretty wild. Out scheduled, yeah, there you go, man. That is that is a key chalice skill, right? You know, there's a... <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's a proper, you know, playoff skill, you know, uh, playing the card that, sorry, I can only play uh, Mondays between uh, 3 in the morning to three half past 3 in the morning. That's it, we have 30 minutes to play the game. If not, I win by because you can't. <laughs> yeah, that is how some leagues work. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> I just didn't care it was a pro elf team. <laughs> Fair enough. You just did the, the job of the Lord the beating a Dimmy, so yeah. <laughs> That's it, your, your role in the cup was done. <laughs> <laughs> Until I got to me, I didn't, I didn't expect to make it out of the first round. Amazing! Oh, he's double wand it, and he's stunned. This was turn seven. This was a bit shit, right? He should have done something at some point. Um, I think there's an argument that Paul should have like made some kind of uh, inroads into the half to threaten it. But how has he not got hardly any scoring threats? This is crazy. This is terrible. This is inexcusably bad from uh, Danton. Not having a uh, scoring threats with pro elves is like what are you what are you doing there? Yeah, when, I mean his team is trash. His team is absolute trash. But like you know, he's got he's got the throw back here. Right? Like how did he not do anything more? Like okay, that was an, that wasn't a lucky double one. But sure, like. Paul wasn't putting the pressure on, was he, right? Surely Paul should have been putting at least some pressure on the ball to make him go and do something. And he hasn't, and... Oh, he's not even in range, oh, that's brutal. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it, Dickie? The good thing is he can catch it in the two tackle zones, right? And then... Do something. <laughs> I don't the problem know is not catch the pass because they have natural steel. The problem is getting out of there. How do you manage that? One, two. It's gonna go just like that. One, two. 
Three plus, two plus. And we can go there, he can go this way. He can go one, two. Yeah, he's got to hit him all the way. Right, so he goes one, two, Last three, hit. four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, wait, that doesn't work either. He has to go this way. Yeah, he has to go through the tackle. All right, he's caught it. Yeah, he has to go through the tackle because he hit the second yep. one, has to be here as well. Now, use the roll. He's got it. He's got it. Two GFIs. He's done it. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Um, human cheerleaders. Mark's off for that. But somehow, he's got the score with his shitty... That was a 4 plus dodge because there was also the aggression of the ghoul. So, yeah, well. Classic yeah, was... bullshit. Yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty lucky, and it was the look at it. He rolled a one for the catch, re-rolled into three. So no, no, it was catch. So one into a five. So actually, the steal didn't matter. But yeah, it was a three, 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 two. It was to the dodges out, um, but they were through tackle. Two of them were through tackle. The two three pluses were through tackle, and then uh, two plus away from the goal. Two GFI. So yeah, that was a pretty nice drive considering how terrible his team was. Uh, but I think maybe Paul played too passively. Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, you have the mighty blow, you have the tackle, you have the... There is no actual any dangerous pro elf, you know, that can uh, damage any of your players, so... You can go, you know, instead of screaming with the base, 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 base. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised Paul didn't put more... Paul uh, has got to the final at least of CCL before, hasn't he? I don't know if he's won it, but he's at least got to the final before. And you'd have expected him to have put a bit more pressure on the non. <laughs> what? So he's going for the handoff first, makes it. He's trying to use the frenzy now to uh, to get set up the one turn, which is. I don't think he should have done it like this. He could have surely he could have hit this guy to do the to do the first two, and then if he fails, you know, do a normal strategy or whatever. But I guess he just relied on rolling all of the dice. I'm not sure this is how you make a one turn. <laughs> no, this is not good. That's not the accomplishment. You but make. I'm not very good at one turns. I uh, yes. To to try to learn now. Too old. Well, I'm really good at saying uh, uh, one turns are impossible just before they happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. I thought he just might have won as well, all right, or it might I didn't know if it was his only final. I knew it, I knew he'd got the final before and and conceded on turn three. Yeah, I knew that was Paul, but I didn't know if he'd like if he'd won it as well. He could have done. Oh, he was the one that conceded. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that conceded. And okay, I watched I watched that uh, final. Yeah, yeah, it was brutal. That was like five players dead in turn <laughs> three or something like that. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. still, you know, conceding is was just yes, past turn, past turn. You know, start reading a book or do something else, just pass turn, say, sorry, pal, I'm just not doing anything. <laughs> Duck step. Yeah, I mean, it just is what it is, isn't it? Like, it, it's not, there's not real, uh, there's no real prestige, is there, for anything in Blood Bowl? Like, no real prestige. <laughs> like, you know, some yeah, nerds real on life the internet, It's like. just, uh, you know, being uh, satisfied and uh, getting bragging rights with your uh, fellows Blood Bowl coaches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kills him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> also, Paul has uh, two dirty players, and I don't remember seeing many fouls in the first half. Nope. But he's lost his arm, look. Lost his arms. Yeah, and he's hit. <laughs> yeah. That is, ni that is a nice little bug, isn't it? He's got no head, he's got no arms. he got no yeah. fans! <laughs> Unfortunately, of course, the camera recenters all the time because it's a shit game. 
And he hasn't really put anything out here to stop the uh, owls doing anything. Oh, wow. We've got to see right a lizard here. One in nine. And uh, there is a perfect chance there to just run away. Yep. Wizard comes out. Ball doesn't break AV. This was lazy and crap. Because it should have been somebody going a long way to base him, shouldn't it? And that guy could have come all the way. Not in front. Like that guy could have could have got the ball. The guy who was there could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's going to try to grab the ball with a throw it and pass it. Yeah, but he's going to get served. Like it's mental. And he had a G if I had to get there as well. That's fucking nuts. I mean, who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> but I mean, I love the. Passing plays and all that, but you need to make another GFI there to avoid getting served or something. <laughs> it's a classic, oh, this player has this skill, so I must use them. Yeah. Like, like, like that's the, the guy who was stood here could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. He could have double GFI'd and not been served. It, you know, like it was a possibility. Um, but instead, he just gave it the auto serve. And then just uh, lose your thrower when you're in. Uh, well, I feel it's not, yeah, it's blood, not dead he? or anything, but it's one of the best pieces. Blood, sure hands. Yeah, I would have rather lost this shit here. <laughs> yeah, the layman could have uh, grabbed the ball and uh, try a hand off or a pass, quick pass to the thrower, and the thrower goes back, and you have uh, you're back in in the offense. You know. Yeah. Just hammering the fouls makes sense now. Of course, with uh, players just hammer home the advantage. I thought he would have fouled with dirty player, though it seems odd to. I guess he wants the dirty player on the foul positionals, but you've got two dirty players. He has two just... dirty players. I don't know why it's not a festival of fouls here. Mm. Calcium will be very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got all the skills of the thrower there. He came up, I guess, because he was. He's up shit crew. It's a catch up. Is it a catcher? No. What, what do the catchers look like? I think uh, are the ones that are uh, like a step ahead. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to tell the uh, catchers from the linemen. I think he's only got one catcher. Well, put all the skills and you see it. Oh yeah, put all the skills on. Oh, you're clever. How do I do that? <sighs> control? There you go. Right. So that's... There's a catcher. Just one catcher, isn't it? Rough. He only has one catcher. Bloody hell. One catcher and one thrower. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty What's brutal. the point of having more? Where's this TV? Where's this TV? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, being pro elf, probably a few of them have, there, have died, like uh, this uh, guy here. Yeah. That's an Apo, Apo. Classic fail. Oh god. Well, yeah. So now, now I feel a bit sad, feel a bit guilty about saying his his offensive wasn't so good, having multiple scoring threats. He only actually had one catcher. So yeah, you couldn't really expect him to have multiple scoring threats when you've only got one catcher. <laughs> oh fucking away. So yeah, that's that's fair that he didn't. He only had the one catcher in, in scoring range when he only had one catcher. Another foul here, and this time with dirty player, and this time it's another cast because of the dirty player. So well done, well done on using the right player this time. <laughs> yep. I don't think Danton did a lot wrong, to be honest. I feel like he shouldn't be unhappy about how he played. His team is absolute dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, it's like I want to qualify at any price, so let's keep, you know, because there is a way of qualifying if you only want to qualify, keep the TV as low as possible and just play, you know, against uh, with an elf team with, versus teams that are like around your same range, you know, 
1300, 1400 TV and you can manage to get a lot of wins that way. Then you reach the cap and you get insta destroyed, obviously. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Or maybe you know he had good players and uh, died the uh, last game, but there is no loners. There's only one loner on his team, so. Oh, there is another one that's. Two, dead. two, two loners, two loners, two loners. <laughs> there is another oh, yeah? one that's. Maybe they dead. were catchers and died. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. In general, for uh, the chalice, if you don't have super stats, don't bother because mm -hmm. everybody else are gonna have the super stats. Yeah, and like chaos, chaos, well, not even chaos, like orcs, and ev everything's just gonna kill those players. So, you better make sure that the few players that you've got left can do things. That's the way yeah. I look at them. That's why high elves uh, work so well because if you have the catchers more or less developed, the catchers are able to do anything. They are strength three. They are uh, very quick. You have a lot of them. You have the two bleachers, so there is you have a lot of tools. Mm. Well, woodies depend on the war dancers and two catchers. Usually it's more than enough, you know, but you have problems. Uh -huh. Right, so he has to block him and get a pal. Okay, he's just going to blitz him. I think he shouldn't have blitzed, I think he should just block and see what happens. I don't know why he did that. I think your dream is already dead a large third because there were pro elves in the beta and or the beta and you couldn't really tell them apart very well. Oh, he's rolled a one. Exciting. He's rolled a double. Another one, one. into dead, it's gonna be another dead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Following the tradition of of this challenge. <laughs> double one on GFI is equivalent to dead. <gasps> oh dear me! Well, he could surf this uh, this sidestepper here, um, but then this guy could go and get the ball. I wonder if it's worth it. You could put two players here. He's already moved this well, guy, but if he hadn't moved him, he could have put those two players there. You could have put this player here. Could have pushed him forward, followed. Then the other wolf could have surfed him and then run back over here, and then that white could have picked up the ball. That's what I would have done. But who can say if it was right or wrong? It's turn 13 and he's losing, you know, one uh, nil, so he needs to grab the ball and score and do that kind of things. Because we are making jokes about the Pro Elves, but the Pro Elves have always managed to get the ball very far. Oh shit, yeah, he's losing one nil. I, 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 because this was like Paul's drive, because this was Danton's drive, I forgot he was already one nil up. Yeah, okay, surfing him is a terrible idea. Yeah, I forgot he was <laughs> one <laughs> Yeah, I right. very good shout. He shouldn't have done. He shouldn't have committed seven players to surfing that guy. He should have just done this. Oh, well, another removal. But yeah, so he had to get it on the wolf. With only three turns left. I know he needs to get it to someone quick. Yeah. And now, yes, there is a. Not that many elf players on the pitch. Yeah, well, the reason I wanted to serve him was because there were so few players left. Like, the, like there was literally three players, and you could serve one of them. The other two can't do anything, right? That that was the thinking. But yeah, I didn't re realize the time. Yeah, so in run, terms of, run, foul so the fun. elf that is uh, still alive because you have a bench of two, so you can afford to lose another DLT player, no problem. And goes to extra time versus uh, a handful of elves. Yeah. You will get uh, two chances with twos though to get the to get the chaos back. So you'd imagine six, maybe seven players, six or seven players. That's not that bad if he wins the toss, but it's just if the players are crap. That's the problem, isn't it? The I think the the catcher is already injured, so yeah. it depends on the scoring on the bleachers. Only because they are moving seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just go. 
Yeah, he fell over and GFI'd in yeah. GFI the car, so yeah. He's probably going to have seven players, but yeah, no catches, no good players is, is not good. Pitch clear. Second half, pitch clear. Brutal. Good tactic of scoring turn 16 instead of pressing end turn. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good idea. If I get a penny for every time I've seen that, Jesus Christ, so they knock up. He has two babes. He has two babes? Yeah, he had two babes, yeah. Ah, yeah, so then he's ordered then. Yeah, yeah, they were very likely to all come back. Especially like as he's got the one turn, so he's got another he's got another chance, hasn't he? So. Now he needs to really go for the one turn. I, can, I mean, the, blit, the, the blitzes are easy to tell, right? Because they're like crouched. But the the catches are, are pretty hard to tell apart. Not so hard to tell apart now because he's fucking dead. But <laughs> um, especially if you don't play them a lot, like the cat, the thrower is really close, isn't he? Like it's. Is this a setup versus a one turn? Yeah, that's a weird setup against a one turn, isn't it? He, I guess he. I there was think. No I think he's thinking is uh, extra time or something. Yeah, there was no, there was no chance of a one turn, was there? Because he, he, he only had, uh, he didn't, have, he only had one catcher and it was out. But they could have, it could have been a, a riot. So I guess this was a riot defense. Oh, right, yeah, you're right, yeah, right. Yeah. There are, so there are no blitzers either. You know? Yeah. Plus, oh, plus, uh, you'd, you'd have to hit the, you'd have to hit the uh, white because the two wolves were sidestepped. So yeah, it was, it was a one turn defense. Uh <laughs> yep. Did I say yep? Yep. Oh wow, well, look, he's lost the toss. I guess he's fucked. Rough days to be an elf. I mean, given the circumstances, I think they're done very well. 1 1, reaching the extra time. You know, the team didn't have any special on it, just the yeah. one guard. Versus Wolves with a uh, mighty blow and uh, two dirty players. Yeah, he did very well to get to the round of 32, didn't he? Yeah. So there's been a lot of pro team uh, in this uh, chalice. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Loads of, them. Loads of the little bastards. I can say that I know very much about the, the things because I haven't played a hundred games with Underworld, which seems to be the standard to be, you know, to know things about Blue Ball. But uh, <laughs> I think uh, the meta has changed a little, and people just play the pro elves because they are uh, the new trend. <laughs> people trying them, you know, <laughs> this kind of team that nobody has played ever, and now oh look at this a team there. <laughs> If he pitch clears, he can try to do uh, vanity passes, can't he? But he's got to pitch clear pretty rapidly. Proils, yeah, in, in my, I, I agree, in my opinion, Proils are the worst elves. But it's interesting because, like, their rule of five is better than, like, their five or six positionals are better than, pro, like, high L six positionals, aren't they? But then their five yes. linemen are worse. So it's like whether you think it's worse, ha worth having worse linemen, isn't it, for better, for better positionals? And I don't think it is, but I can see the argument. For, well, for me, it's a tournament team. Yeah. They are cheap, they have uh, skills, having low AB is not as dangerous in a tournament format, you know, where you're going to play only three, four or five games, yeah. and that's it. For a long uh, league or a long uh, series of games, you need to be very, very lucky. Yes, that seems reasonable. 
Yes, I mean, I think they are both the worst elves, yeah. I, I agree, Dark Elves are both, they're both the worst. Like, I think Wood Elves are the best, obviously, and then Dark Elves are, are tough, aren't they? But, um... Oh, wow, he's made the 6 plus dodge in for the uphill. As you repeat, hero play there. Respect. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the day, why even the pro elves exist is like, why? <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, you're totally wrong there, a large thud. Um, I also definitely not the worst by far. Not, not that was terrible, by the way. Frenzy trap himself there. He just had to move the guy in. It was sort of like, how do you not know that was a frenzy trap? Unbelievable. Um, they're definitely not the worst by far. The stats, uh, the stats will back up that they're not. That none of them are the worst by far. <laughs> At low TV, they suffer a lot, but the, the higher the TV gets, the better and better the higher elves become. Until at some point in, in very high TVs, if they can survive until that, they can uh, be at the same level that the good elves or something like that, because they become... They get a lot of tools. That's it, they just get a lot of tools, and they're very quick. I think uh, Dark Elves get stuck at some point between 1800 TV up, like they run out of tools, they like, okay, but, but anyway, I'm, I've always been a high elf player, you know, I always liked the models and I was playing when I was playing Warhammer, I was playing high elves, just because if I were living in the world of Warhammer, I like to be a high elf, I mean, you know, quality food, clothes, light, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's done it again! Oh my god! Um, look, a large I'm not saying that el that high elves aren't the worst. Like that's a, a totally valid. I can totally see that point of view. But saying the worst by far is is definitely wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, flings probably have the best food, but also have a very small life expectancy. <laughs> You know, meanwhile, the high elves are like, okay, they have armies, they have, you know, whips arms, and all that, they look all right, they look all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always liked high elves in Warhammer, to be fair. I mean, if you are living in the Empire, you probably, you know, your best meal is going to be porridge made with the ashes of your grandfather or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's just keep Newcastle out of this, okay? <laughs> anyway, I think uh, Danton uh, made a good, very good uh, for given the circumstances. But yeah. this is the kind of game that was, unless something spectacular happens, it was fated to be on the Necro's uh, favorite. Yeah, yeah, this is this. Is Fucked. I don't know why he feels bad about how he played. That was weird. It was just a stupid game. Stupid. Like it's a crap team and a tough matchup. It is what it is, isn't it? Probably got bad dice. I mean, he did, didn't he? he did double one, two. He, he double gone into injury one of his best players and all that. But even that is like he managed to score in the first half because. Um, the Necropole more or less let him score. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Which is not in respect to Danton, you know, but he has the advantage that the pole just underestimated the, the, the elves. Right. And that happens what happens. Pass, catch with nerves of steel, score. Yep. There you go. That was a match. Ahead. Yep. <laughs> that was the match. It's done now. The round of 32 done. Yeah, yeah. That was the final one. They, uh, they played a bit late, but uh, it was worth the wait for Paul. Not so much for Danton. <laughs> <laughs> Five cars, ten kills. Ten kills. Ten kills. From 18 AV breaks as well. Ten kills and two deaths. And four injuries in a in five casualties in a team of eleven players. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty brutal, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Only 18 AV breaks. Nearly every single AV break is a removal. Absolutely brutal. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, Paul. Commiserations, Danton. Thank you very much, Fimey, for doing the co-hosting. Absolutely brilliant. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.